Welcome to Economic and Social Indicators. All right, let's look at the difference between the two. Economic indicators, they measure the performance of the economy, right? Whereas social indicators measure issues related to well-being of people over time. Remember, social comes from, you can think of society, so how is society? So, so our social indicators, they measure issues related to the well-being of people over time. Okay, so let's look at economic indicators first. Don't confuse these uh, economic indicators with the economic indicators that are used for business forecasting, like the lagging, leading. Those ones are only for business forecasting. But these economic indicators are for the economy in general. So the first economic indicator is the production indicator. So production has to do with productive capacity, how much is being produced, and this is measured by GDP. Now remember, real GDP, we take the nominal GDP or the normal GDP and we remove or minus inflation. That's how we get real GDP. Second indicator is the productivity indicator. Right? Uh, remember, if you are productive, that means you produce more using the same inputs, more outputs with the same inputs. That's productivity. How is productivity measured? As a remuneration per work. Right? Remember? The more productive you are, the more remuneration you will get. So this is how productivity is measured. Third economic indicator is employment. Now, how is employment measured? It measures the economically active people between the age of 16 and 65 who are able and willing to work. And they actually do find jobs. So that's what employment is. And of course, unemployment would be the opposite of that. It's the people, uh, the economically active, which means the people between the age of 15 and 65 who are able and willing to work but cannot find work. Then that is unemployment. All right. So uh, employment, of course, is just the opposite of unemployment. The fourth economic indicator is the inflation rate. Now, inflation rate is measured by the consumer price index and the producer price index. Uh, that is covered in uh, detail in the inflation chapter in paper two. Interest rate also. Uh, interest rate is based on the repo rate. That is also covered in paper two. Okay, now let's come to the social indicators. Remember, we said the social indicators are indicators that uh, look at the well-being right, uh, of the people. All right, so the first social indicator is inequality. Uh, inequality is measured by the Gini coefficient. All right, if the Gini coefficient is between 0 and 1, the closer it is to 1, the higher the inequality. All right, and the second social indicator is poverty, like, well, how poor people are. This one is measured by the headcount index. Now, a headcount of the people living below the poverty line is done uh, to see when we do a headcount, we see how many people live below the poverty line. And that's how poverty is measured. There's also infant mortality. Remember, infant, uh, infant is a baby that hasn't reached the age of one. Mortality means death. So infant mortality is measured by looking at babies that die before the age of one, uh, one year. All right, the last one that we're going to look at is the life expectancy. Life expectancy is basically measured by looking at how long one is likely to live. All right, these social indicators obviously tell us how the country is doing. All right, thank you. Uh, great talks.